So what's changed in the past eight to ten years that, that, that um, maybe made Brazil IT open to the world? Okay. Uh, in the last eight years, I think, in the country is, uh, is getting... I, I think that uh, the last eight years we are we are in a very better position than in the past. Mm. Then, of course, in terms of uh, economic uh, situation, we are much better. We passed through this the last uh, crisis very very well, and uh, IT specifically for IT, uh, we even before these eight years. We grew a lot. Yeah. We have a very, we had a very well structured IT uh, market, mm. and of course, in the last eight years, we have some advantage because if the economy is is going well, of course, help us. Mm. Um, what maybe is different from the last maybe five or four or five years that we began to promote. IT, Brazilian IT industries for the world. Mm. Okay, then we we were successful to to get some sponsorship from the uh, from the government, specifically from from the minister Fulan. Mm -hmm. That time now there there is another minister. This uh, minister help us helped us to to uh, promote. IT industry for, uh, first inside the government mm. that they understand that what is service IT, not only software or hardware, is different. And after that, we 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 began to promote Brazil in the in some other countries. And uh, today, for example, in this event, Gartner event is a uh, is a uh, result for this, this movement of promotion. Mm. So would you say the government is now helping industry? Yes, mm. I think so. For example, IBM, they, they, I, I think I read in the newspaper some, some days ago that they are creating a lab mm. in Brazil. Right. And the, the Rogério Oliveira, the CEO, told me that the government helped a lot, more okay. than he is expected. He right. was expected. This is a new movement for us because ten years ago we don't have, we didn't have any support. Mm. Now they are beginning. Yeah. Of course, we hope, we expect more, but we are in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So um, in the last two or three years, a lot of the world has experienced a severe recession. So how how has the Brazilian technology industry? Um, uh, has it had any effect? Okay. We, we uh, the Brazilian IT services company, uh, they, we, we, we were affected by the crisis, of course, because Brazil was affected, but not in the same level that uh, in the. So nothing rest like of the, the USA, for example. No, no, it's less. Mm -hmm. If you compare with Brazil, with uh, UK or uh, or US, we suffered uh, the market mm. uh, suffered less, and of course IT yeah. suffered less. Mm. Okay, uh, specifically for uh, Stefanini, our company, as we are we are very experienced in managing crises, mm. we we had a very good result. Uh, we grew accumulated in the last two years, that's 2008 and 2009, in accumulated we grew 8%, 8 percent, right. zero. It's very good, uh, it was a very good result. But uh, uh, market, IT market in Brazil more or less became stable, right. not to decrease and not increase. Okay, okay. So, um, you uh, indigenous Brazilian technology firm and you mentioned also that there are companies like IBM in Brazil is is there a, do you see a, in the future several brand names you know Brazilian companies that uh, that people internationally will know so Stefanini for example 
I think you have you have a facility in India, so you can export services from India. So, so do you see that uh, if we talk in in ten years, many more people will know about Brazilian IT companies? It's not it's not an uh, easy question to answer, but. Uh, I think that uh, Brazilian market, IT market, is very open. Mm. The service we have almost all the giants here in Brazil: mm. IBM, Accenture, and others company. I think that, to be honest, I don't think that uh, that we will have a lot of big Brazilian companies. I think we will have but few, just a few companies, mm -hmm. because the competition is too strong. Yes. And uh, I understand that uh, most of our the Brazilian companies will be uh, 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 maybe they will be sold for for another. Ah, so may uh, maybe a large yes. uh, foreign merger acquisitions that yeah. they they will be acquired. Yeah. Mm. I think so. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, we have a different uh, target. Mm. We, we think in different way. Of course, we intended that to, we can be one of these company, Brazilian companies that can be uh, bigger yeah. and uh, very known internationally. Mm. But I think that's just few companies. Okay. And so, on, so on that that point, then, um, so if you feel uh, Stefanini and Brazilian IT companies can be known better. What what is your USP? You know your 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 selling proposition. How how do you sell Brazil compared? Say if you have to compare yourself to Infosys, then okay. how how do you make sure that people prefer Brazil over India? Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, of course, what I you say is mix between Stefanini and Brazil mm. is our speech. First, I, I like the speech that to, we are not competing with India. We are alternative from India. Mm. Our offering is different from India. Mm. Why? We are in the same time zone, one night flight. We have uh, Western co culture that we have more is easy going people to, to interface, to discuss solutions. We have a different skills in terms of uh, behavior of the people. Mm. Uh, other or, other part that is very important that we have not only knowledge, IT knowledge, but we have business knowledge. Mm. The idea is offering not only IT but uh, uh, adding value with business knowledge. Mm. Another another difference, uh, a different uh, proposal that uh, our most of our people are senior people. Mm. Most of the Indian offering are junior people, are beginners. That is different skills, different uh, uh, value proposition. That we understand that in some some market or some uh, some uh, needs we can work very well and come the Indian offer. This yeah. is our our idea. This is our strategy. Mm. Okay. And uh, in terms of uh, Stefanini, not only Brazil. Mm. The idea, our our strategy strategy is offering, uh, of course, uh, structured uh, uh, structured services services. Uh, including CMMI or ITU and other uh, methodologies, but also we can be more flexible. If you compare with some giants, multinationals, we can be more flexible. And uh, big, uh, large corporation like this, that we can be more flexible to adapt with their model. Right. Not, uh, I, 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 uh, I can follow the, the client's model, not uh, I impose my model to the client.